Hey everyone, I'm Dylan. This is Dylan's DIY Workshop, and today I'm going to be teaching you how to make these bow ties right here. It's a fashionable way to hold wood together that's splitting on a line of split. Stay tuned to learn how to make one of these. Okay guys, so basically if you have a piece of wood like this that's split down a, a line where it's just dried out too much or there's a gap or anything kind of like that, what you want is something that'll hold it together from splitting. And the way a bow tie works, um, it's the shape of a bow tie obviously, you can tell that from the name. But the way it works is it's kind of like a dovetail on a dovetail, so it's like two different dovetails and what that does is when the two sides of the piece of wood try to peel apart, they, uh, they're kind of forced in. It's, um, it's like a stitch, but it works the same as a dovetail joint that you'd see on the side of a, a desk drawer. If you, if you have a nice desk drawer, you can pull it out, and just behind the face, you'll see it's kind of the same shape as these um, the bow ties, as if you cut it in half. If that makes sense, um, perfect. If it doesn't, I'm sorry for confusing you guys even more so basically what I did is I drew it out I cut it on the bandsaw and I cut it roughly to the right shape and then once I had it the rough shape I split it down the middle and I did that part really slowly I sped it up in the video to four times speed so it looks like I'm going fast but I'm definitely not if you're gonna do that be really careful about it next thing you want to do is trace the exact same shape right on to the piece of wood after you've uh, smoothed out the edges of course and once you've done that you want to find a, either a V tool kinda like the one I'm just showing you now and that's what you're gonna wanna carve the edges out with you could also just use a normal chisel or in a minute or two I'm gonna show another tool that I use but basically what you wanna do is carve out a recess for that dovetail no, sorry not the dovetail um, you want to carve out a recess for the bow tie to go into in the exact same shape as a bow tie. Here's that other tool I was talking about. It's kind of more of a scoopy shape and it takes out wood like bigger chunks than the V gouge and it, I don't know, it just kind of, it's a lot easier to use. So I used the combination of those two tools to hollow out the majority of the, the recess and it does take a long time like I've sped this video up about eight times speed for quite a bit of it and I cut a lot of parts out of it just because it's repetitive you get the point after about 30 seconds of me showing the video I did switch to another tool it's basically a chisel but it's a carving chisel so you would never hit it with a hammer it's just super sharp it's pretty delicate too all I did with this is try to clean up the base of the the recess make it flat and then all you're going to want to do after that is just kind of make the edges square and that's as simple as just putting the chisel on its side and sliding it through the same line that you've already drawn now you have the bow tie and to make it fit in the uh, recess just snug what you're going to want to do is taper the edges now I've shown you right here by drawing the, the pen marks so the down facing side has two corners shaved off it and you could do this with a knife or sandpaper I just use sandpaper and I sanded it down pretty good now you're gonna wanna glue this down I've never personally used just wood glue I've always used epoxy because it when it dries it turns black so it kinda matches the cracks in the wood I didn't have any 90 second epoxy left so I was using some five minute you don't really need anything that sets any slower than 90 second because all you're going to do is let it dry and then you want to sand it down or scrape it down to the same thickness so I've got this epoxy all mixed up and you're going to want to make sure you mix it up really well because you want it to set properly and then go ahead and put it in the recess try not to get too much on the piece of wood itself I usually use a toothpick to mix it it works the best because it doesn't glob up and then what you're gonna want to do next actually is mix that into all of the different cracks and divots that are in that recess get it in every little spot because you want it to hold as tight as possible make sure your bow ties 
lined up pretty well not pretty well make sure it's lined up really well and then put it in there and kind of jiggle it around a bit so that the, the epoxy gets all over the bow tie itself and then once you've got that done you just kind of let it sit for a while and sand it down right here I didn't actually let it sit for very long I just kind of wanted some of the maple to get into the epoxy that didn't really work out it sometimes it does sometimes it doesn't it's a miss sometimes you know let that dry and then take either another flat chisel or sandpaper or a cabinet scraper or you could take anything really and you want to shave this down so that it's flush with the wood below it so in this case it'd be the walnut that's cracked I switch between using an exacto knife blade like a box cutter style one to sandpaper to the chisels just because I can't stay focused on just one thing at a time because I'll drive myself crazy just sitting there you don't have to switch between the tools you can find whatever works best for you these are kinda of just all the different options I even used a cabinet scraper here I think I mentioned that already that seemed to work the best it was easiest to hold on to as well alright guys so this is the finished product right here a bow tie in here and it uh, trust me it's super smooth like you can't even it's not sticking up like see yeah so that's what you hold things together with when it like is splitting like that but you still need the whole piece of wood I'm gonna have to do oops I'm gonna have to do another one on the back side of here because it's it's moving but this is a really nice piece of wood I don't know what I'm gonna do with it I ended up cutting a solid piece out of it over here to make uh, a different project that I'm working on so I might just like round this edge over and make it into a lamp or something I don't know whatever comes out of this I'm sure you guys will see it somewhere either on my Instagram page or here so thank you for watching this video if you enjoyed it make sure you like it and as always leave a comment down below let me know what you think about the video what you think I could have done better what you think I should do next video you know comment it down below any questions I'll be here to answer them thanks for watching guys Bye. Where are we off to, Dalton? Canadian time!